Welcome to our instructional video on the Riverside Knoll Stitch Along installment number four. So you are going to make this block this month and this video are my tips on how to make this go easier. So for this month for installment, um, installment number four, you are making this block right here the echo star and so you're gonna have it totally scrappy except for your center and the four fabrics that are out here in the corners these four fabrics are gonna be the same for this block but you're actually gonna have four different colored blocks so like this one's red this one's probably green or teal or gold but all the other little pieces are going to be um, scrappy so you can cut these from your scraps so you're going to have two elements that you're making for this block that are repeats in other blocks that we've done before we're just going to kind of do um just a refresh when you mark your fabrics i'm going to use a frickson marking pen i have a black one so i can see it pretty good and then um, i'm going to do the same thing for these green squares too so I'm marking them from corner to corner. And when I stitch these, I'm really just going to be stitching not quite right on the line, but just a thread's distance away so that I've got a little bit of clearance for folding my fabric over. So this larger corner square, remember you're gonna have four like this of each color, of four different colors. And then this one here is going to be a little flying geese unit. So on this one here, I'll start by stitching just one side and trimming away my excess and pressing it. I like to press these seams open where I can. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch on these lines and I'll show you the next steps. So I've gone ahead and sewn this and you can see here that I didn't sew exactly on the line. I just sewed one thread width away from that. That way when you press, you're going to take up that extra space with the fold of the fabric so you get kind of a better seam. These have also been pressed open so I've trimmed away that excess from the back and pressed those seams open. So that's how you make those sections. I also have just half of my flying geese unit finished. You can see also I've trimmed away the excess and that is also pressed open there. And then I'm going to position my line again sewing just beyond the line, closer to your excess here. So when that folds over, you're gonna get a nice seam. So here's my um, piece that I've been, I have stitched, and I'm going to trim away that excess, and then I will go ahead and press that seam. You can see you have a little bit of extra fabric now. So I'll go ahead and press that seam open, and then I'll be ready to take these elements and sew my block together, following my pattern instructions for that block. You also, for this month, are going to have enough pieces with all of your other elements with these four corners to sew this unit together. Um, and then you just have a couple more months left of adding borders. Well, I hope you have a good time completing those blocks and getting one step closer to having your quilt completed. Um, next month, you'll get um, all of what you need for um, these corner blocks here and then you'll be on to your borders in the final month.